Hey guys, welcome to your weekly overview for the week of, what is this, 16, 17, 16? All right, with the retrograde being over, I'm feeling things are getting back into order finally. Let's see here, all right? Ace of Wands, mm -hmm. Four of Swords, Six of Swords, Three of Swords, Nine of Cups, and we have the Five of Cups. Why? Why did I pull this one? All right, guys, this week is about, you know, <coughs> are you gonna make it or break it up? Whatever this is, all right? For some of you, I'm getting like you wanna leave the old job behind, definitely or you feel, you know, like a relationship is done and over with. So these are the cards we got, all right? We have first the Four of Swords and the Nine of Cups, all right? So what I'm getting here this week is not much about, we had a Knight of Wands last week, right? And Knight of Wands is about action. It's about, you know, like following your gut, doing these random things. This week is more about, you know, keep it cool, you know keep it low-key basically with the, because you have this ace of swords here you don't know the truth you're holding to the truth here and we have the three of swords also with the same spread so you see somebody was resting from a heartbreak somebody was resting from a difficult energy and it was you know it was just like oh i needed some time off you know i needed some time for myself to chill to get myself back on track you know to kind of like pick up this energy again of what is it that I want, or what is it that I wish for, right? So we have Nine of Cups also here. Um, it's weird because I'm feeling like there are two different things happening here for many of you. It's like in your head, you know that something from the past is not for you, you know, and you're like still thinking and hoping that they will come in and apologize after they broke your heart, after they did some shitty thing to you. But at the same time, you're like, you know, we have the Six of Swords with the Five of Cups. It's like, shoot, get the fuck away from me. I don't want this anymore. I want to go towards the future. So it's like this week for you, you know, you really need to focus on what this Ace of Swords is for you. You know, like focus if the past is really worth it. You know, if, if there's, there's anything to hold on to there that is going to make you feel, which I don't, honestly don't think, because if it made you feel like the Three of Swords and there's regrets involved here, possibly a third party, but if there are regrets here, you know, if there's like shit that happened that made you feel like you have to leave, like you have to get out of there, because you see that this boat is full of baggage. For some of you, you know, this past situation, it's just, there's just too much to bear with it. And it's just not, you know, it's like, I just can't deal with it anymore can't carry this all right and <clears throat> it's time to move on but you know this week is like you know it's very weird because you see these energies i'm like obsessed with this actually you see that there are two cups here two cups here and there's this girl in the middle which represents you know you in this case and there are these two people thinking about the same thing it's like both are aware that this is a soulful connection both are aware that this is like some sort of a spiritual union but the thing is that, you know, sometimes you cannot pan it out. You cannot work it out because, you know, there's too much baggage. There's too much bullshit. There's too much of this, you know, and sometimes it just doesn't work here. For the others of you that this is not love, I'm, I'm getting, you know, like a fear of regretting that you're going to make a wrong choice with work. The thing is here... Um, If there's been something going on with work in the past that kind of like blocked your creativity, blocked your communication, blocked the way you can like, kind of like progress yourself, this is something that you need to leave behind. This is like, this is not the job that is suited for you. And I think today on Instagram, we get a 10 of swords. So basically it's, you know, leaving the old mentality behind if it's not the betrayal, but you always need to leave something behind in order to start something new, right? And for me here, this is like, if you want a normal, calm set of mind, you know, if you want to have your own little like Zen in your head, you need to leave this energy, whatever this is for you, right? Work, love, I don't care, friendship even. 
because I am getting that your wish will be granted. <coughs> Sorry. Your wish will be granted this week. I do see somebody, a ghost of the past coming in, you know, trying. You ha we have two of cups up here. You know, somebody's trying to offer these two of cups to the other, but the one doesn't want them. Somebody just wants to leave this behind. Somebody just wants to move on from this. And my hands are burning, so I do feel like this is going to be very intense for some of you because um, it was a toxic situation and there, there's been like a stagnancy in communication as well, like kind of like delays, blockages here. And there is a second chance coming around, but I'm not sure if you guys want it. That's kind of like what I'm picking up on here. Hmm. Let me just see here what else is going on. I mean, there are no major arcanas, but I'm getting that these are major changes for you. You know, even though for me, major arcanas are often, um, when I see major arcana, it's usually something that comes towards you from the universe, right? Minor arcanas are guidances for you. So since we are all having these minor arcanas here for this week, guys, some of you like really wait it out, really wait it out if this is worth it, if this is like something that you would go back to. Because if somebody broke your heart, left you in this, look at this, like uh, I call it like the void of a heartbreak. And you're like, oh, but I, you know, somebody comes in and says, oh, I want a new beginning. But you see, the new beginning carries a fucking heavy load. And the thing is that, you know, you can try again with a person, but it doesn't mean that it's going to work out. Because the thing is that there is always going to be this sense of, you know, something was wrong. Whatever this problem was, um, if somebody cheated. You're never, you're never going to fully trust this person again just because that's how things work, right? And they, you know, kind of like somebody betrayed you, somebody ruined their, your trust in them. And it's difficult to go back to what it was before because you're always going to be like, oh, hmm, where have you been until now? What have you been doing until, you know? It's like these sorts of things. So like this week, really evaluate because you had time to think. All right, you had time, you had time to not really do much about the situation because there was stagnancy, there was blockages, retrograde. But now in the shadow period, people are going to start coming back around, especially in the shadow period. I don't feel like, I feel like more people come back after the retrograde officially ends. Because in the retrograde, most people like start to think, contemplate, you know, some speak out bluntly, yes, we had that for last week, but <coughs> this week it's like, it's more calmer energy than the last one. That's what I'm getting. So I'm speaking up on. And you know, like really, it's like head to heart decision here. It's good, I mean, follow your heart, yeah, that's great. That's all beautiful, but, um, wait, let me pull these cards first. That's all beautiful, but the thing is that Sometimes head has to win because, you know, if, if it's a repetitive cycle and if somebody, you know, somebody did not cheat just once, if it was like a continuous, like a third party where, you know, somebody was parallel with you and somebody else, you do not, you do not go back there because these people, you know, they're rarely going to change and there's no more trust there and there, was, there can be no, you know, like equal give and take there because they already owe you a big time. You know, there's already like a really big payment here that needs to be made. They need to redeem too much. Yeah, that's the word, redeem. <clears throat> yeah, we have falseness. We had it last week. And one more, please. Merriment. Yeah, this is like, uh-huh. Yeah, something, somebody's coming back around here. So we got merriment and falseness, all right? So this is what I told you guys, the, the merriment, the, the joy is connected with you moving on. And the thing is that some of you, you're going to have this moment where like, oh, I'm happy that they're back, that they're begging. Yeah, that's cool, whatever, you know, but I mean, the thing is that why would you even want it if you don't want it anymore? Just for the sake of the ego, right? So 
your ego gets happy because they're miserable over you and you're like, oh, whew, I knew it. I mean, yeah, that's cool, whatever. If this makes you feel better, it's your thing, all right? Everybody has their own thing, but the thing is that if you still want this person back in, that means that you still care one way or another. And, you know, really be careful here if this is something what you want, because if they come back in, there is a chance here that you're gonna give them another chance. But with the falseness, somebody's not being honest yet. I'm also getting that some of you are withholding about communicating how you truly feel. Like you wanna move on, but you're all, oh, we have four of pentacles again, we had it last week. And the wheel of fortune, we had it last week. I shuffled the deck, all right? So this is the theme that kind of builds up on the last week's theme, all right? You are still holding on to somebody who does not give a, give a two fucks about you or vice versa. But what I'm getting is that, you know, somebody here is lacking liberty in terms of, you know, this is my safe haven, this is my safe place and I'm gonna stay here. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna like keep it, you know, like on the status quo until they don't come back in because, you know, for me, this is what I think is for me. When in reality, it most likely isn't if it gave you this. It's like, I feel like somebody had a one night stand as well with somebody who you already know. And this person comes in and starts to beg. I feel like this week the wheel has turned because we got the wheel of fortune, all right? Like, things are going in the other direction now, all right? So if you were the one begging last week, now they're gonna be the one begging. Or if you were the one chasing last week, now they're gonna chase. It's like, you know, the role is shifting here. That's kind of like what I'm picking up on. Oh my God, something bit me here. I don't know. Like now, literally now. And yeah, we have a 10. It's a completion of like the old ways with the Wheel of Fortune. These are changes that you cannot affect. It's like stop resisting new beginnings. Stop resisting by going back to the past. <clears throat> because you have this wisdom now with the Four of Swords. You had time to think. You had And don't make these decisions like straight yes or no answers. You know, sit back, think a bit. They're gonna get there, you know. Oh my God, it's so warm in the house. Okay, let's get one more card here. Oh, Queen of Pentacles and the Star card. All right, some of you need to learn your worth and value with this situation. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, all right. <coughs> I came sick from my trip and cigarettes don't help. Beer does not help. <laughs> Anyways, we have the queen of pentacles here. So you do see that there is at the end of the day, all right, at, at, around the end of the week, I'm getting stability is going to come in. But somebody, whoever this fucking, you know how much I hate this guy up in a corner? Like he's so creepy. Whoever this toxic and negative energy is, they're gonna like, mm, do you know this kind of like dinosaur lizard guy, guy, animal, you know, it's like a, it's like, it's like a really huge lizard and it has like a toxic tongue. That's the person I'm relating it to. It's like they touch you and they're toxic. Like their energy infects your whole human being and they infect the, the energy that you radiate with. They infect everything you do in your life. That's the energy. It's like, it's bullshit. It's like somebody who is like, just putting you too much down and that's kind of the theme here <coughs> do not look back anymore mm. <coughs> <coughs> there is joy that's coming in once you get rid of this and it's going to be something much better and much much more in resonance with you because this person cannot offer you queen of pentacles wants stability she was the king of pentacles right she wants or the king of wands you know the thing is you know she wants somebody who can demonstrate not just talk she wants somebody who can show her 
how to stay ground, how to keep her two feet on the ground and build with her. That's the queen of pentacles type of energy that she is seeking. It doesn't matter what gender you are. It's, it's about, you know, if they can actually manifest what they're promising and with the falseness here, I'm getting that they cannot. They cannot. And it's just, you know, you, you may wish for it. You may hope for it. And we have two fours. Stability is here, like very, very um, required. Yeah, but I'm getting like, the thing is that somebody's coming in and <clears throat> it's like your wish will be granted, don't worry. It's like, you know, and I'm getting a specific scenario where somebody comes in and they're like, <clears throat> I know you were thinking of me. I was thinking about you so much. And they tried to sell this bullshit story, you know, because you fell for it in the past. And some of you are going to fall again for it. You, you see, because this, this, this sleazy, sleazy asshole up there, they know how to keep the queen of pentacles in their, you know, around their fingers. They know how to, you know, make her do things. Not make, but like, kind of like, you know, like this, this sleazy way, find a sleazy way in to, to pull the Queen of Pentacles back in. All right? It, it's like a, somebody is taking away your groundedness and you're allowing it. If you allow it. If you don't allow it, I'm seeing here awesome, awesome, awesome. Like, you know, that's the thing. It's like you're shifting the karmic energy, you're shifting what was going on. And there's no more looking back, fuck looking back, seriously. No more. No more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road. <laughs> you know that song, right? <clears throat> All right, guys, I am so sorry if I was um, coughing too much. What can we do? I mean, I'm sick and I'm still making these videos. You see, it's, it's, it, that's called dedication. Um, yeah private readings are open again you can you can just email me there's all the information is in the description box um also yeah i don't know i don't know what i wanted to say but um yeah that's it for now love readings working on it and yeah that's it bye